Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. Come to you again with your Toyota trim level series, your TTLS. Uh, I, of course, am your Toyota Master Certified uh, rep here, and I am also a Sales Society winner with Toyota. Uh, also a product trainer and mentor here at Beeman, so I do know my product. Uh, I wanted to show you this here. This is a SE Camry Hybrid. Uh, so Camry Hybrid SE model here. Um, now you might say I've done a, a high, or a, a non-hybrid SE, so what's the difference? I'm gonna go through those, uh, but just in case this is the first video you see on the SE, I'll, I'll kind of touch on the other stuff as well, uh, just to make sure that uh, you know everything uh, that you need to know about your new SE uh, Camry here. So first off, you can always tell a hybrid from Toyota, has that blue around the Toyota emblem, that's always your hybrid. So difference in your LE and your SE on the front though, uh, so if you take a look, you're going to notice here, this is an LE version here. So just kind of your grill will be the same, whether it's the hybrid or the non. This one's not a hybrid, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the difference between those two. So if you kind of take a quick look here, you can definitely see that the uh, the difference is pretty, uh, pretty awesome there. Uh, so if you're looking for something that is uh, sporty, you definitely want to go that route. So... Um, definitely your engine's different. Of course, you have your hy hybrid synergy drive system, uh, 2.5 liter four cylinders, same size motor as the, uh, the non-hybrid, but it pairs with your synergy drive. Uh, so your hybrid drive. So it gives you 208 horsepower as opposed to 203 horsepower. So yes, your hybrid is more powerful than your non-hybrid. Um, also want to make sure that I point out uh, that you do not need to plug this vehicle in. You get in, you drive this vehicle just like any other vehicle. You don't do anything different to drive a hybrid vehicle. So uh, there are some people that ask that question, do I have to do anything to drive a hybrid or, or do anything different like plugging it in or getting something installed in my house or stuff like that. You don't have to do that on any of them. So, um, or let me caveat that there are some plug-in versions that the plug-in helps the hybrid but you still don't have to plug it in all right so now definitely looking at your wheels here uh people tend to notice that when it comes to the uh the se it's just it really pops out for you it's an 18 inch wheel uh machine finish alloy of course um very very nice you also i'm going to show you here you also have a smart key system so i'm going to kind of show you that smart key system is looks like this i'm going to show you that you'll un, be able to unlock it just by grabbing it and you can unlock it that way so i'm not quite ready to get into it yet but uh, i did want to uh, go ahead and get in and turn on the headlights so you're going to see why here in just a second um, so showing you on this one we've got your mirrors once again they've moved those mirrors down made your a pillar smaller stronger it's built on the tnga platform uh the toyota new global architecture platform it is a awesome platform uh makes it stronger makes it better in every way so um, if you take a look here you can definitely see those lights those lights are very bright you don't really need any fog lights anymore on the uh on the camry just because of how bright the lights are so uh, you have your auto on and auto off feature of it led driving lights and by led combination headlights so those are led lights in your camry hybrid so definitely uh pretty awesome there so that's one of the reasons i wanted to reach in there and kind of show you that so i'm gonna go ahead and get inside here show you a few more things that are different especially on the inside so actually i'm going to turn off the lights just before i get in here I'm going to show you power seat in the in this version of it. Of course, uh, that is standard. Uh, you have your soft text on the outside of the seat with a uh, fabric on the inside. There, it's a I mean, it's almost impervious that fa that fabric there. So it lets you breathe a little bit while you're sitting in the car. That way, if you're a, a big guy like I am, you don't get all sweaty and and everything else from uh, from that. So I'm going to go ahead and power us up here. And what you're going to see, you'll kind of see everything powering up on the screen here. Now, people always ask, is it running? Well, now you just heard the engine start, but it was before. As long as you see that ready symbol that's right over there, that ready symbol means that the car is actually ready to put in drive 
and drive. So even if the engine's not running, you can actually drive this car. Um, so that's part of the great things of a hybrid. Now, what I've got on that center screen there, you can see that's your energy monitor. So uh, there's different things you put on the screen. You actually turn them right here. So I'm gonna kind of go through, I'll show you. You can do your Sirius, you can do your uh, lane departure and, uh, and that there's your messages so if you got an oil change to do it tell you that low fuel show up there um, you come into your settings you can turn on and off certain things this one's got blind spot monitor so if you turn it on you'll see that the blind spot monitor lights up in each mirror rear cross traffic alert the rear cross traffic alert if somebody's coming up behind you um, and you're like backing out so you have to be in reverse if you're backing out it's going to tell you that you um, have somebody coming behind you it'll beep and flash those for you now not every one of the SCs have that it's an option um, this particular one has that so that's a it's pretty awesome to have it so um, it's a $600 package if you choose to have the blind spot monitor with the rear cross traffic. So um, this one's got it. One of the reasons I want to show you this SE is because this one's got a few of the extras that you don't have on every one, but uh, showing you what you can get on the SE version. So coming back over to your information screen here, you saw that I was doing the uh, um, energy monitor there. You can do a digital speedometer. You can look at your tire pressures and see what your tire pressures are, of course, or go back to trips screens, uh, miles to empty. Uh, you can also even, and I've got other videos about doing it, you can actually reset what's on those screens and you can change those. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. So now this one on your radio, this one's got your uh, audio plus package. So one of the ways you can tell the difference um, is this right here, the CD player. So you've got three different radios that can come on your camera. You can have your Intune audio system, your audio plus and your audio premium. So now the way to easily tell which one's which is your Intune audio, no CD player. Very easy to tell which one it is. Um, so there's no CD player, no, uh, it has CarPlay and uh, it, it's got it CarPlay and it has, um, uh, Android Auto as well um, on all versions so you don't have to wonder whether or not it's got that but if you don't have that CD player then you can definitely tell that it is a Intune audio system the plus system which is what this one is um, adds uh, your Sirius XM of course um, and uh, also adds your wireless charging which is down here so you can see I turn that on that green light there that's your wireless charging you have a little cubby hole down here as well but it adds that wireless charging for you. So um, that's something else you get when you upgrade to this. And then once you get to the premium system, that'll be your JBL system. You'll notice down here, it'll say JBL. Um, that's your JBL branded system, adds an amplifier, additional speaker, subwoofer. Um, so it, it gives you additional speakers uh, and, and their uh, Clarify, uh, which helps to bring out to concert quality sound. So um, depending on which one you look at, you have one of those in the Camry. It's turned towards you, so it's very easy to look at and see what you're, uh, what you're looking at here. So um, once again, that is an option. The Audio Plus is a 790 option, and I think the JBL system, if I'm not mistaken, is like 1700. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I don't have it right in front of me, but it's uh, definitely higher than the 790 package. So um, this one's got a convenience package on it. Convenience package will add that home link with your um, self dimming mirror and your garage door openers there for you. Um, so that adds that if you have that convenience package. Uh, this one's also got a moonroof that's also available, but it's not standard on this vehicle, um, but it is available. That moonroof's $900, you add that new moonroof there. So um, so definitely that's, this, I mean, there's more options. They're a little bit smaller, door edge guards, uh, floor mats, stuff like that. So depending on what you're looking at, they're a little bit different. So um, do want to show you again, what's different on the hybrid. You're going to notice down here, you've got eco, normal, and sport modes. That is pretty well standard on your SE. So um, you can always see those. Uh, so if you don't see those, you're usually on a lower trim level. Um, some of them don't have that. Now, what you're going to add is you're adding EV mode, which is electric vehicle mode. That's anywhere from zero to about 25 miles per hour. And as long as you're not demanding a lot from the motor, um, it'll let you stay in EV mode. This is your electronic parking brake. Brake hold is right here. That brake hold will hold you at a stoplight. It's actually really awesome to use. Um, takes care of you. Your USB port is down here. Like I said, you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. In order to use either one of them, you do have to plug it in to your port there. Um, and then you can uh, definitely enable everything on the inside. Two more USB ports inside of your center console here as well. So um, that's something else to uh, definitely take note of. So um, 
by the way, I'll show you here too. Um, in order to enable, you hit menu in order to enable your CarPlay and Android Auto. Hit setup, projection settings. Once you do that, you can turn on whichever one you want to and it lets you know which one's turned on. So um, definitely very, uh, very easy for you to work there. So um, you can touch through your touch screen. Looks, looks very good, works very good. Uh, dual climate control in this model. So if each person is trying to uh, do their own thing, you can uh, change your temperature on either side. Um, right now I've got this setting right here, which that setting is really good. What it does, it looks for a butt in the seat. There's nobody in the seat beside me. So it's not letting me change this because it doesn't want air over there. It's just watching on the driver. Saves electricity, helps you save fuel economy. Now, if I turn this off, you'll see I've been able to turn this to wherever I want, I can change that. So just by turning this off, you can turn off the, it, more or less the eco mode on your air conditioner. You can hit sync, once you hit sync, you can change both of them at the same time. It's gonna adjust things for you, of course. And like I said, once you hit that, it's not gonna push any air to the back seat, not gonna push any air to a passenger that's not in the vehicle. So it's pretty awesome to use. You can uh, obviously hit this too. This changes where it's coming out from. So very, very easy to use. So now I'm gonna hit this map button. I'm gonna show you something. So the app is not installed. So what I wanna tell you about here is you can use CarPlay, Android Auto, or something called Scout GPS Link. So in one way, you have a navigation app on this vehicle or some way to have navigation. It doesn't matter which trim level you have, you have that on all of them. So if you're thinking about, oh, maybe I wanna go to the XSE or XLE, um, which you don't get an XSE in a hybrid, only an XLE. So LE, XLE, and SE are your three hybrids. Um, SE is in the middle, so LE, SE, XLE. Um, those are your three hybrid options in the Camry. So, um, so just so you know, if you're you're looking trying to go up or something like that, thinking I need to do that to get navigation, you can have an integrated navigation system with the premium audio. It gives you integrated, so um, that's independent of your phone. But in this level um, of this particular system, it is going to be one that you have to have your phone plugged in with CarPlay or your Scout GPS link or Android Auto. Um, so that's uh, just kind of giving that information there. You see the cockpit's definitely turned towards you here. It's really nice. Your radio button is over here for your tune scroll. Your power is up here, all within reach of the driver, trying to help the driver out, of course. Um, do want to show you this as well. SOS button, that is standard on the Camry. So um, if you get to an issue where you need to uh, get help for any reason or that, you can hit that button. Um, roadside assistance, anything, as long as you have uh, your first two years, you're covered with roadside assistance on that. So um, definitely a good thing. I believe you've got, and, and I have to make sure on this, but uh, different vehicles are different, but I believe you have your first year covered with your um, SOS button. Uh, after that, it's $8 per month or $80 a year to keep it. Um, some vehicles go up to three years. So um, if I'm wrong, I'll let you know that, but I believe it's one year on the Camry. I'll just have to verify that. But anyway, also you got your LED lights, very bright LED lights. Um, look really nice on the inside of the vehicle um, for uh, being able to uh, read anything that you need to read. So um, definitely, you're, like I said, you already looked at your 4.2 inch multi uh, information display MID. Um, you have your sport trim seats, of course, dual zone climate control, your smart key system, obviously push button start. We've already talked about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off here at this point. Um, so just kind of going over a little bit more, you can see where your cup holders are, everything that's set up there. We already talked about your center console and where all that is. You have all of your safety sense on here. So you have your dynamic radar cruise control, your lane departure, your automatic high beams, automatic headlights with automatic high beams. Um, so they'll turn on and off and turn your high beams on for you. I have uh, definitely more videos out there about the uh, safety sense. Um, so definitely check those out. Also your SE, you're gonna have your paddle shifters. You can see how you can plus or you can minus on the opposite side over there. Um, so you can actually shift it that way should you choose to. Um, it's really uh, uh, more for having a little bit of fun if you wanna have a little bit of fun with uh, how the vehicle shifts and, and drive it. Realize that uh, the transmission and the computer are going to get you the best fuel economy they can uh, for what you're asking for. So um, you're mashing the gas and you're asking for a lot of power. It's gonna do its best to give you that power that you ask for um, in the most economical way. You shift it by yourself, you will not be as, um, as good as the car is 
for shifting to get fuel economy. So I um, do want to show you this. If you have a child, putting your car seat in is awesome. It's just so easy to put a car seat in. And it might be a little bit hard to see because that should be better. Um, it's a little bit uh, dreary today with a lot of rain and that in Nashville. So um, we definitely wanted to show you that. And I like to tell people too, if you pull those off, put them in the glove box. You don't want to lose those. So um, definitely do that. You have your center console, a little hidden right in there. So you can, uh, and that's really nice. It's, uh, you can put your hand on there. It's really comfortable um, to actually put your hand on. You're not putting it on a piece of plastic or something like that. Uh, no rear vents back here. Um, you do have two uh, seat pouches in the back. Uh, some of the vehicles now are coming without the one on the driver's seat. So just, like I said, uh, it is an SE Camry. All your windows are auto up, auto down on your SE Camry uh, hybrid here. You'll also, You'll also notice that you have a button on the back that you can open your trunk with, which is right there, that you can open your trunk with. Backup camera on all of them. That is standard as well. Uh, those are the floor mats that are in there. Uh, really large area in the back here. Um, this is an all-weather mat. Keep in mind, the floor mats are extra. That is uh, just because uh, some people can order them without them, should you choose to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up for us here. What to be able to see is underneath you can definitely see everything's down there your tire iron your jack all that tires below there so you do have a spare tire on this particular vehicle as well um, but definitely look at your large area in the back fold you can fold down your back seats as well um, something i do want to actually touch on is you notice there's no missing area no missing space inside the um no missing space on the inside of the uh, trunk here uh, just because you don't uh, you don't have to because the uh, hybrid battery at the new TNGA platform your hybrid battery is no longer in the way of your trunk space you can see I can fold down those seats for you on either side and once I do that I can actually get all the way through there is no difference between the trunk space on the Camry SE and on the uh, the Camry Hybrid SE. So no differences there. So um, Sirius Satellite is standard, by the way, on these as well. You also have Sirius Replay, so you can actually record Sirius. Um, like I said, just, just kind of um, glossing over a little bit everything. So um, hopefully I've uh, helped you out to know about your Camry uh, SE Hybrid here. Um, definitely made in America, made in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, these, you know, these things are very, very awesome to drive. A lot of horsepower, a lot of pep. Uh, it actually feels a little bit more powerful than the gas version. So um, definitely drive the hybrid if you're considering anything else and just see uh, see what you uh, what you think. Now, I will say, too, that the LE hybrid gets a little bit better fuel economy than what the non-hybrid does. You can see your uh, 46 combined, 47 highway, 44 city. So um, you definitely have a little bit of a difference on the... Uh, fuel economy your uh, le which is a lighter car will get you 52 combined so um that's prius numbers of course but uh this one's a little bit heavier so it's going to get you a little bit less gas mileage so uh, hopefully i've showed you guys a lot of what you need to know here to know whether or not the hybrid se is the right one for you uh once again i am uh, steve Walsh, beam toyota in downtown nashville with your ttls your toyota trim level series um definitely hope that i'm helping you guys to uh to know the right vehicle for you and your family. Steve Walsh, Beeman Toyota, downtown Nashville. Reach out to me here if you got any questions. Um, definitely like, subscribe, and um, uh, hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate all of you. And let me know if there's any questions I can answer. If there's anything I missed, feel free to put that in the um, in the comments there as well. Uh, definitely love it when you guys help me out, uh, just in case I might have uh, glossed over something um, and forgot it. I show a lot of vehicles, so sometimes I definitely do forget um, everything and every feature that these things have. They are just awesome, awesome vehicles. Um, and they, there's a reason it's the number one selling sedan in America. So, and it has been for, I believe the last 18 years. So, uh, something like that. So, um, number one selling for a reason It is the Toyota Camry. Uh, and this one is your SE hybrid. Steve Boss, Beeman Toyota. You guys have a great day.